Hey guys, this is Renee from Bargain Hunter Thrift Store and your favorite YouTube channel, Bargain Hunter Thrift. I hope you guys are subscribed. Today we're going to do another, wow, first hand pocket nines. This is a six person table. All right, let's play. Somebody wants to gamble. It's a $5 buy in turbo. Eights, tens, wow. Oh, I got a set of nines. I didn't even see. I <laughs> tripled up on the first hand. And I had the worst hand, a guy behind me at tens. Anyway, that was an intro that was crazy. As you can tell, this is going to be another Storage Wars Q&A question. Today, we're going to talk about the biggest eBay mistakes resellers make on eBay. At least what I think is the biggest reseller. People comment on this all the time. They're trying to educate me on it. They're always trying to correct me on it. And it's funny. And I tell you guys all the time, um, when people give you advice about business, ask yourself, what type of business do they have? How successful are they? Because if they just work it out of their mom's garage, you probably don't want to take business advice from them. Like most people that try to teach me stuff usually talk to talk but don't walk to walk. Where we show a lot of stuff, we show you guys sales, we show you buyers, we walk to walk, we talk to talk. And we don't do it to brag, to show off or anything. But we do it because we want to share knowledge with you guys. Now, one of the things that I do when I come home, when I'm stressed out from a long day at the office, long day working, I sit down for about an hour. Casey usually lets me relax or whatever. And I play some of these uh, tournaments in America's card room. You guys can find me on there all the time. Um, if you guys haven't signed up with them, I got a link for the download where you can download the software for free. It doesn't cost you anything to sign up. You don't have to put in the credit card information. They got every day free roll tournaments that you can play in where you don't have to put up any money. And if you win, you you win a little bit. So that's just free rolls. It's dollar, $5, $20, and some bigger ones. But you have a chance to get free money that you can work up. In today's video also, if you guys watch this later on in the video, I'm going to tell you how you can win $10. So um, I'll send you $10 on the side personally. So make sure to watch the rest of the video so you understand how to do this. When you download the software, make sure you guys use bonus code Renee, And then you get extra cash back if you ever do make any deposits or things like that. So, and you know, somebody got all upset that I promote these poker videos. Number one, poker is fun as part of my life. So I like promoting poker. This is natural to me. And America's Card Room is a great website. You can play poker. You can do blackjack. You can do sports betting. Probably next video, I'll, I'll do a video where we'll do some of our football bets. And uh, it's just a good site. So I promote them. You know, we work something out. I promote them. But I don't get paid. It doesn't matter if you download it or not. The download is simply for you guys to make a little... I have a huge stack. You're trying to bully me. Okay. The, the download is simply for you guys to... Um, Get free money. This is how I give away money to our fans. It's easy, fast to do. All right. Today's question. The biggest mistake eBay resellers make. Uh, also with the tools. Actually, I'm going to tell you the biggest mistake in a minute. I'll, I'll tell you the second biggest mistake. And I see this all the time. Tools. People want to get in the eBay business. But they never want to invest their money in tools. Like any. This guy's raising all in again. Unbelievable. Okay, let's call with Ace-8 suited. We got you on with 3-1. to one. Yes, ace jack. That's not good. No seven. Okay, we'll still have a thousand chips. That's fine. So this is a turbo tournament. So I guess people are like, I never usually play these. I like to play three handed or ten handed, but that's what was ready to go. So people basically fold all in, I guess. So like any business out there, you have to invest in your tools. Let's see if he goes all in again. You know, I tell people use a software called Six Bit, and most of the people coming back to tell me. Oh, it's 30 bucks a month. So what? It's a tool. I mean, you when you have a store, you pay thirty more than $30 a month for your security. You pay for your sprinkler system, your licenses. You, you pay something for everything that you do. It's a tool. You need to invest in tools. I get people sending me messages all the time. Hey, Renee, how you doing? Can, can you look this up on WorthPoint for me? I'm like, WorthPoint is like, I think, $29.99 a month or so. Can't you just look it up yourself? I mean, you're in a business, you're a reseller, it's a tool. Look up, pay for worth point, half worth point, have an eBay store, an eBay store is beneficial. Use Sixbit as a listing site. Sixbit is one of the greatest deals because it makes you so much faster. S I X B I T, Sixbit. And I'm not getting paid by that, nothing, you know? So I'm just telling you guys mistakes that resellers make. They do not want to invest in the tools. Um, you know, I have a good camera, good picture set up. Go look at some of our pictures, our listings. Our eBay links are below. Like, you can zoom into our pictures super close. And that's because I'm using an 800 or a 6 or $800. I don't remember. I'm using a 6 or $800 zoom lens. And also the digital camera we use, I paid like $2,300 for just for the camera. 
So, um, and I have several lenses for Canon L series lenses. Most of them are like four or five hundred bucks up to a thousand bucks. There's a reason why we do everything that we do. We invest in our business because we make more money. Now, this follows right up with the biggest mistake that resellers do. People tell me all the time, Renee, Renee, I looked at your store and you're much too expensive. You are not the cheapest guy on eBay. You would make a lot more money. And I wish I would have saved the comments. Somebody just left it the other day. That's why I did it again. You would like make a lot more money if you just flip everything. Why don't you just go out there and put everything at 75% off? Okay, guys. Everybody I know in this business, that's the quick flipper. None of them ever have any money. By the way, I don't know about this tournament or who gets paid. If it's a top two, the top three. Let's go see if we can see really quick. Top two places get paid. I paid five bucks, so 1050 or 1950. We'll just have to outlast this guy. So you would make more money if you just flip it. You have stuff sitting for a year. Again, what I told you guys earlier. It doesn't matter how fast. So I told you guys that in yesterday's video. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, make sure to watch it. It doesn't matter how fast stuff sells or return on investment. You have to look at your business as a big machine. It's a big machine that just has to keep on turning. And the way we do that is by every week we have our numbers where we kind of want to be at. And some weeks it's lower, some weeks it's higher. But then we also look at our monthly numbers. Now, if our monthly numbers really dip overall where we want to be at, then we say, hey, guys, okay, what's the mistake here? How can we fix it? And sometimes it is we're doing a sale. Sometimes it's not. Or sometimes it's just buying different merchandise. But the most important thing, when you try to be on eBay, so all these new guys come on eBay, they be like, okay, this sells for 20, 20, 20, 20, 28, 32. I'm going to put mine up for 12.99. Why? If, if there's so little items out there, why do you have to be the cheapest? Also, this is what happens on eBay. That's actually what happens with, with all the retail. If you try to attract the cheapest customer, guess what? Think about it right now. What is the cheapest customer? Okay? It's the cheapest person usually, okay? The cheapest person is the most is the most problem. I guarantee you, and I've done it, I can sell a Rolex to New York or somewhere, and I'm not saying a city or anything like this, but I can sell a Rolex, okay? Ship it to the person for $10,000, I don't even hear nothing. They don't say nothing unless there's a problem. I actually will have to call up these people personally or send them emails saying, hey, you got the Rolex. Just make sure you're happy. Uh, just want to make sure it's all good, you know? And, you know, usually get a response. Yeah, we got it. It's all great. Thank you so much. Or, yeah, we got it. I haven't even looked at it yet. Stuff like this. But God forbid you sell a Timex for $9.99. Uh, I literally did sell a uh, Timex to New Jersey for $9.99. It was brand new, original box. They were selling for like 50 or 60 bucks at the time. Um, the person left me a feedback uh, two weeks later saying that they had to get a new battery. <laughs> left me a negative feedback. That, that They bought a $60 watch for $9.99, and then they left me a negative feedback. And, you know, you have to answer a million questions about the time. Is the box clean? Has the watch been worn? Blah, 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 blah. So when you go for these cheap customers, you usually have the most problem. I never want to be the cheapest on anything. The only time I want to be the cheapest, like we had these water filters right here, okay? And we weren't even the cheapest. We just matched the cheapest. Uh, much, we don't want to bid that much. So these right here, water filters. I sold probably like $5,000 worth of these in, uh, within 30 days. We matched the cheapest seller, which we did three of these for $49.99 with free shipping. And then what we did in order to beat the other cheapest seller, we gave 10% to eBay in promotions. So for every $10 we earned, they get a dollar extra. Plus on top their commissions. A lot of people will tell you, oh, that's a bad strategy. Why do you give them extra money? Well, guess what? That's a really competitive area. There's a lot of listings for that, and they promote my items stronger. So it's worth the 10%. Um, another thing people don't consider, especially with toys. Oh, we just made a straight, and we have an open and straight flush draw. Let's just bet 60. He calls 129. Uh, he falls. Okay. Chip leader. Um, what was I saying? Sorry, I'm playing poker at the same time because that's what relaxes me while I do these videos for you guys because I love America's card room. But, so, okay, yeah, especially in the toy category. So, people will look at prices with toys, and you'll see that all the time. You'll, you'll take an action figure, and there's like seven listings at 40 bucks, and then there'll be a listing at 30, and then some smart guy will decide, well, his listing is 19.99. Okay, we're in the money, guys. So, 10.50 back, we paid five bucks. Worst case, we double. Now we're playing for first place, 1999. So worst case, we double, 
and we're hoping to get 1999 which basically would be four times our money so we're free rolling at 10 bucks at this point not that exciting but i would play a little bit higher limits if i wasn't filming at the same time great thing this guy's pretty aggressive so let's see if we can outplay him he's probably gonna re-raise me because he folded the last two times ah he did not okay he got tight all right ace two suited so what happens? So that last person, then I will put out the thing for 1999. But they'll do that in July. And what ends up happening? It still doesn't sell any faster if people are not looking for the toys. Most likely, what's going to happen? The guy that sells it for 40 normally, because he knows the market and he educated himself, and he uses a software like WorthPoint, which I told you guys is another thing that you spend on. He can tell you that when he goes back through the years in the listings, he sees okay anything in the fourth quarter. The price is much higher than the stuff, you know, in June or July. So he's most likely to buy from that guy for nineteen ninety nine with free shipping, and then um, and then, oh, sorry, I need some water. And then he's gonna relist it himself for forty bucks. The problem comes when you sell to other dealers; they get super picky because they want it perfect, and you have more problems with returns and stuff like this. So you really don't want to target other dealers. But what happens? So Christmas comes around. Let's say no dealer buys it. And it's Star Wars figures. Summertime, nobody's really buying Star Wars figures. But Christmas comes. Usually around Christmas, Disney will release the Star Wars figures. I don't think we had anything, right? Uh, Disney will release the Star Wars figures, plus all the all the kids that request Star Wars toys. So people are searching for Star Wars toys. So they see uh, Luke Skywalker. And yes, there's six listings and one for 20 as high as 47. Well, the 20 sold, the 30 sold. So everything left now is in the 40s. And there's still five people wanting to buy it. So now you get the money. And there's nothing wrong with storing stuff. You make the money when you list the items, not necessarily when you sell them. And same thing, we have over a thousand items on eBay. I haven't listed nothing on eBay, or well, barely anything in the last 60 days, I think. There's a couple days I listed some stuff, but yet I'm selling every day. Here, we can look at this really quick because our people always. Uh, hold on, let's play this tournament. I'm going to show you my eBay numbers. Let's see if we can do it at the same time. Because people always, you know, I always say stuff and people want to challenge you or like, you know, I talk from experience. I talk, Sean. My eBay sales slow down, obviously. Everybody's eBay sales. Okay, let's just gamble. Here, it's a free roll. Wow, he hit the three outer. Oh, no, we got the king. We went, okay, we won 20 bucks. Thank you, America. Oh, no, she's had more chips than me. Okay, uh, we fold this. Hold on a second. I'm going to show you guys my eBay sales. And he's just going to go all in, I know. But I have, no, nope, he's folding. Aces call. Please go all in. Please go all in. Please go all in. You can do. You should. Yes. There we go. Trapped. Queen ten. Oh, he got the flush. He got the flush. One more heart. That's okay. You know what? We got what we wanted. God, we had him. We should have won this tournament at this point. I already said thanks, America's car room for quadruple up. Ace Jack. We're gonna go with this if he goes. Heads up. Nope. Don't you guys love poker? And you know, the reason I show you these numbers, like somebody got all mad and he's like, Renee, you shouldn't show these numbers. A lot of people are doing bad and it, you make us feel really bad. Good, I hope I make you feel bad because that should inspire you to go out there and go make it happen because this is the greatest country in the world. You still can go make it happen. Just go work your butt off and make it happen. I mean, right now at this point, it's uh, almost 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm recording a video just to bring you guys content. Yeah, these help videos I do, I don't make much money on. That's barely anything we make on because people always think we make all this money. I literally do it because I want to make a difference in people's life and I want to make their life easier and better. And I sh share some of my experience. Come on, let's just finish this tournament. No, we cannot do that. We cannot do that. 8-4. No, we cannot do that either. Let's look at our eBay sales really quick. Uh, tsh, tsh, tsh. By the way, you just saw a little Yachty on my YouTube channel. The only reason I looked at that is because I saw some article where they said he was going 150 miles an hour. And I have no idea who that is, little Yachty. I'm getting old. So my sales last seven days, 3,800 bucks. Last 31 days, 19,000. Last 90 days, 58,000. Uh, when we were listing every day, we were over 100,000 for the... Ooh, top pair, check. We were over 100,000 for the 90-day mark. But I barely listed anything the last 60 days. But you still see every day we make money. You know, August 30, 3,700. 1,400. Yesterday, 500. This is just starting today. The day before, 300. Uh, no, did we fold that hand? Shit, I folded that top pair. I'm back. Oh, man. 
he bet two, I could have raised them all in. Well, maybe I got lucky. It was two small cards. All right, let's play this really aggressive because I'm talking. I'm not doing this. And we'll go back in our numbers in a second. We're just going to go all in every hand. Just about wreck. Just fold. You don't want to play this. Plus, I got a crappy hand. I really don't want your action right now. I'm just bullying. Yep, fold. Really good decision. You want to fold. How's it? It's heads up, man. Why does it take so long? Come on. You're supposed to be the joker. You're supposed to be badass. Uh, Jack do suited. Let's raise it all in. There we go. We want to play for it all, buddy. Because we're bored. We're not bored. We need to look at eBay numbers. We're not playing five high. You guys feel the excitement? If I were just playing poker and not talking to you guys, I would be playing obviously a lot more patient. Ooh, we hit the three outer. Got him! Thank you, America's card room. Just made 15 bucks. We paid five bucks to get in and we get 1950. No, we do not want to play. All right. Love and now you can double down if you want to, but I never liked those. I never win in those. Actually, I won a few, but no, close the table. All right, we're done with America's Card Room because I have to work in these videos. Thank you, America's Card Room. Make sure to go in the link. Oh, okay, I, I don't think in this video I said how you can win the money. So leave a comment right now. Sign up for the software if you haven't already. It's completely free. The link for the download is on the bottom. If you have a username already, leave a comment on the video. Say what your username is. Within, so this video is coming out Wednesday morning. By Thursday evening, I'm going to announce the winner for this. It's going to be in the community chat board for our YouTube channel. And I'm going to send one person 10 bucks. You can take that 10 bucks and run it up. Like right here, you can, like I just did. I started with five uh, with 530 with the commission. And I just turned it into 1950. You cannot keep on building it up. But I'll send you free 10 bucks, and it's up to you what you can do with it. That's dollar tournaments. Well, here's a dollar fifty tournament, you know, so you can, you can get like a whole bunch of tournaments out of it. Leave a comment. Leave me your America's Card Room username. The username actually has to be working if I pick you as a winner, and it has to be your username on America's Card Room. Now. Let's look at the eBay sales again. Let me close this down. So 58000 for the last 90 days. You know, not great, but it is what it is. So that's still, uh, what's that coming to? Um, right, roughly 750 bucks a day. Is that about right? I think so. I'm tired. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. What's my, what's my average? You know, now I want to know over 2 because I feel stupid. I used to be so good at math, and now it's just like... 90 times 750. Getting old sucks. 67 dollars. That's not 750. So 90 times 575. 51 thousand. You know, I'm sure there's a bunch of you guys right now making fun of me. 90 times 625. 56. So it's a little bit over that. So it's probably about uh, 620. It's probably about 630, 640 a day. Over the last 90 days. That's every day the money come in. And why did I do that? I set up the machine. I don't have to be the cheapest. So I used to see guys that used to buy storage units. And their goal was that everything they sold by the weekend. I mean everything they bought in the week had to be sold in the weekend. Those guys never made any money. How do I know that? I used to be one of those guys. I used to see guys coming to my booth all the time with Rolexes and fancy money. And they would buy the good items for their own retail stores. And they would spend a thousand dollars with me. And I'm like a dummy when I was young. I was like, oh yeah, I just made a thousand bucks. But in reality, that guy's gonna take that thousand bucks and turn it into two, three, four thousand. And he has his machine going. So as he spends money every day, he's making money. And I have to work way harder. I'm the one taking all the chances. I'm the one doing all the loading. If the unit gets crap I get nothing he just buys guaranteed money makers so that's what we do now that's why you see us do so many videos about like I got a beauty salon coming up we got the palettes we got um you know we take chances on the celebrity units but part of that is for entertainment for this channel also uh, just we bought the toy collection I spent 11,000 from another storage auction guy I'm gonna two and a half times my money on that but that's because I learned I do not have to be the cheapest oh somebody made us an offer let's check out the offer Right, we'll make some more money. I'm going to up today sales by 70. Let me see. My password. There you guys can see it. It's a whole bunch of stars. Actually, I think I know what this offer is. Yeah, 70. So the original item is 79.99. I'm pretty sure you offered 70. I actually did see that pop up on my phone earlier. And 4,600 feedback. Beast one. We accept you. His feedback. We accept your thing. Accept offer. Thank you. It's made 70 bucks while talking to you guys retirement here i come and you know when people say we don't sell anything so we didn't do shipping today we try to do it like pretty much every day but uh let me see 
Got a bunch of feedback in too. Let's go to my eBay really quick again. Um, so we have 24 orders. Actually, as soon as I'm done with this video, um, I'm going to edit the video, upload it. So I'll probably be done by 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to pull these and do the shipping labels. There's actually two orders that were overdue because it was just at the end, which is not good. We never tried to get that. But so the last, um, this is probably over the last 48 hours, probably last 36 hours. We got 24 orders in for $1,300, including a 1969 a Topps baseball card, Nolan Ryan, Monster High, Welding Gloves. Um, I have another video coming out. I just spent $11,000 on football cards. $11,000. If I were the cheapest on eBay, I can never make any profit, but I'm patient. I know how to flip stuff. So the biggest mistake, guys, do not be the cheapest on eBay. You don't have to. It's not necessary. E oh, here. So we, look. So we just found another box of these. And actually, we sold this one for $45.99. We just relisted. We found seven more lots of three. That was in one of our warehouses. Uh, we had like over 100 lots and usually we get 50, but I just sent out generous. Um, I sent a 10% off mass email and I forgot to take these off. One guy picked one up of those. And I paid promotions for that too. These right here, if you guys watch my $100,000 pallet deal, I sell these like crazy. I made thousands of dollars on this deal. Three pack for $29.99. Look, these are and super easy shipping. Like I can process if I want to like this, 500 orders in one day. So 500 times 30 was at $15,000. I mean, I don't get that many, obviously, but, you know, we get two, three a day usually, but every day. We've been getting those since uh, December of last year every day. Disney car, not a slot car for 25 bucks. And then sometimes you're cheap. Okay, so like this toy right here, Disney cars, die-cast mini raises. We had three of them. And let me make sure I don't sound like an ass. Let's double check. Oh, we actually had four of them. And they all sold for 59 53 So that's when I offered the 10%. And then 59 and they were sold to Switzerland, Germany, America, Germany. And so we use eBay Global Shipping Program. When I first listed those, people emailed me, Renee, sometimes people sell these for 30. I'm like, good, I'm happy for them. Like, let me know if there's some listings for 30. I'll probably just buy them. I, I wouldn't because it's a bigger item. But, you know, it's like if you fight for 30, more power to you, buy it. As soon as I started selling the first one, they started selling, and now we're sold out of this product. And I'm still in the summertime. At Christmas time, I probably could have gotten an extra 10 bucks for this. But I was happy with the 60 bucks, and it was all good. But I do not have to be the cheapest. And there was people on there at one time that actually were cheaper than me. And the item sells, and, I, and then I get my price. Never have to be the cheapest. Most mis pe most mistake people make also. Here, no, look at something in my listing. Almost everybody does free shipping. Guess what? This is an item right here that's going to be two pounds. And look at this. $14.99 standard shipping. People will send me messages. Oh, you can do media mail, or you can do this, or... Do a used book, so just put it in a plastic bag. If you're that cheap, I don't want your business. Because guess what? If anything goes wrong, you're so cheap already. Who do you think they're going to play? Are they going to say, hey, you know what? My bad. I said put it in a plastic bag, and I'll just take the loss. Never going to happen. They're going to say, hey, Renee, you did a shitty packaging job. I don't like it. Give me my money back. And I'm going to keep the item, too. So, uh, which we always fight, by the way. We never allow that. But, like I said, if you're worried about if shipping is $15 or $9... Go buy somewhere else. I don't want the headaches. And I don't mean that in a mean way. And I respect people that pinch every penny and they get the way. I just don't want to deal with them. Because usually they want to save extra money and have me do twice the work. That's what's my experience. So if you're going to become a successful eBay seller, don't worry about being the cheapest. You know, another guitar item. I can't remember the name. Let me see this right here. Let me go my listings. And, you know, we had over 1,200 listings up. And, like, I'm probably down to... Where's my total listings number? 1,009 listings again. I need to do some auctions. Let me just see this really quick here. Guitar. This is a vintage one. So I got this listed for $149.99. I had like two or three different ones from this brand, Cresco. Um, let's see if there's still rock Cresco guitar. Let's see if there's any other ones listed right now. So when I listed it, there was nothing else listed. Uh, I have two. Oh, I must have this double list. Oh, no, it's so so remember I do sponsored stuff. So one listing is sponsored, which is stupid because I'm the only one for the pr pr direct product, and then my regular listing. So I'm the only one on eBay that has any of these. Let's see if any of us sold. It's a super rare item. None sold. So I'm just gonna be patient. And uh, I had two other items from the same brand, same type of thing, little guitar parts. 
and both of the other items sold. So a guy emailed me. He was like, uh, 40 bucks a piece sounds about right on those. And I'm just like, normally I don't even re e e reply to the low ballers, but I just sent him an email. I was like, great, I'll take them all. How many do you have? You know, it's like, and I don't care if this sells in one week or if it takes you year, two years to seal, seal. It is super small. It's flat. Like we use office file boxes and, um, and they'll be in there. So it'll be really simple and it's easy to store and it's just part of my machine. Next year, when the store closes down, we're going to have a warehouse. Now, goal to start out is 10,000 listings, which should not be too hard, but I really want to be at 30 or 40,000 listings. That pretty much should put our employees every morning they come in, they should have 50 orders easily. Then it's going to be hard to try to keep that much inventory. But then what we'll do, we'll just start buying whole companies. We'll start buying all kinds of new stuff, like much bigger than we do now. But we'll see where it goes. I'm also getting a little bit older. You know, these right here, these Kenner guitar switch, Fender guitar switch is 60 bucks. I had a bunch of different ones. They sell slow, but they sell. Seymour Duncan had this for a long time. I had a whole bunch of different ones, but eventually they sell. I'm patient. There's not much competition in that. Let's look at some of my listing. Let's see an action figure. Let's see how I priced it. Oh, I have a lot of action figures listed right now, so we'll probably get a whole bunch of results. My computer is slow right now. eBay is slow. Oh, we got the response already. So we have 334 action figures listed right now. Let me see one that I think. Okay, so these right here. I don't think I'm super cheap on these. Uh, let's check this one out. Okay, Jack's uh, Series 7 Jeff Hardy. So we have one sold. We have five listed. We charge $14.99 shipping and $30 for the doll. So that's $45. We did sell one already and the guy paid. Oops, it didn't copy the jacks. So I got a competitor here, 20 bucks with $7 shipping. So that's a lot cheaper. Well, that's a different color though. Mine is the green one. Or maybe I did have the black one. This guy's 15 bucks with free shipping, but it's loose. But see, I'm definitely not the cheapest. Oh, here's one for 89 over oh, breakaway table. I had some of those too. But here's the same one with 29 breakaway table. This is this must be mine then. Okay. I don't know why this guy's asking 90. That seems a little high. Here's the same one for 59. Shit, I'm the cheapest one. That's embarrassing. I try not to be the cheapest one. Let's see what they sell. But that's great because when Christmas comes, I'll be the cheapest one. Okay, so here's a guy that took an offer at $35 and with $15 shipping. So that's cheaper than me. This guy took, he was asking $45 with free shipping. So he was cheaper than me. And who knows what offer he took. Another $45 offer. Here's one for $35 with $9 shipping. So $39, 6 bucks cheaper than me. This is probably the one that we sold. Here's one 26 he took off with free shipping. So I wasn't the cheapest. So but everything that was cheaper than me before sold and now I'm the cheapest. So when Christmas comes, I got five and I'm the cheapest one and I get more than any of these guys selling. So but I'm in no rush. So that's the one thing you remember. You guys don't have to be in rush. You don't always have to have no inventory. Just do your listings, try to get what you want to get. And then get the wheel turning, have the machine turning. Have your goals, say to yourself, make realistic goals. But like, you know what? This is my first year at Christmas and I'm going to sell a lot of stuff. And my goal is to have two or 300 active listings during Christmas and see how you do. And as time goes on, you will learn what sells on Christmas, what's time dependent. And there's some things that sell great in the springtime. There's stuff that sells great when they go back to college. And then, you know, collectibles been through the roof. There's stuff that sells great. Um... There's stuff that sells great if, um, you know, there's a pandemic going on. You, you just learn, but you don't have to be the cheapest. I Hopefully, I explained some of this, guys, to you good. If not, uh, if you have specific follow-up questions, leave follow-up questions. I fully expect a bunch of dealers to get all upset about this video and the video I did yesterday because that's just what happens when you educate people. But um, it's great stuff. Big shout out to America's Card Room. They always support our channel. If I need anything, I just got to call Phil over there. He sends me some money. He sends me stuff to give away for the channel, so I like promoting those guys. Uh, let me know if you want to see a video where we'll do some sports betting on America's card room. We'll do some football plays. 
And then also, uh, if you want to win free 10 bucks, make sure to leave a comment, put your America's card room username. I will pick somebody within the next 48 hours. The winner will be announced in the comment section. I hope this helped you guys. So if you want to see more of these videos, it's very important. Do the thumbs up type of thing. Leave comments. Anyway, God bless you guys. Thank